So yeah, a little bit more about those cow birds. They're a native bird to New Zealand. They're the only surviving mountain parrot in the world. And at one stage, there was a bounty on them. The farmers thought they were killing their lambs. The idea was to control them on the farmland, but then the hunters ended up in some more remote areas hunting for them and the numbers got quite low to a degree where they needed to be protected. So even with being protected, their future is still a little bit conservative. The number hasn't increased as much as they thought they would increase by. But in saying that, it's a bird that sort of had to readjust itself to at least three complete different environments over its lifespan. So they're not really worried, they know they're always going to survive. With belonging to the parrot family, they're very clever and they learn very fast. And they are attracted to anything that has rubber on it. And like you probably saw them there on top of cars, taking anything apart that has rubber on. And I'm talking about taking stuff apart, not just playing with it. They work in groups. There was a situation where a couple of tourists had something to eat outside their camper van and two of those care birds keep coming up and begging for food. They keep chasing him away and suddenly out of the nowhere another three cares appeared on their windscreen playing with their windscreen wipers and they thought oh, I had quite a good chance to take up some close-up photos of them. As they did that the other two stole the food and flew away. And the minute the other two flew away with the food, so did the three that were playing on the windscreen. Most places where tourists stop and they are around, there is a no feeding sign. There is two, or there are two reasons for that. One is that they shouldn't turn into beggars. They still need to be able to hunt for their own food. And the second reason is quite often they end up staying on the cars as the car drives away and somebody may need to teach them the principle of flight then they would probably realize they're not actually a helicopter. What happens then the car speeds up and then they want to fly away and they got the wings set the wrong way and they fall straight back onto the road and get run over by the next car. Not as much a problem around here, but further up on the west coast it is a big issue. And I have seen some do exactly that here by the tunnel. They stay on the car and just before the car gets into the tunnel, they fly away. But they learn very quick and they know they need to fly off to the side in order to be cleared from the next car. They got quite colorful wings underneath. The reason for that is their only predators are falcons and falcons hunt from the top, so from the ground up and they've got no predators, so that's why they got the colors under their wings. So we're just driving up towards that home tunnel which sort of proposed the biggest issue when they built this road. And I read up that at the beginning, five guys with pick, shuffle and wheelbarrow started building on this tunnel. And out of those five, three got killed by avalanche within the first few years. So avalanche and rock slide are a common threat, even in today's time. You probably saw some of those big boulders on the side of the road. They did not get placed there. They came down from the side of the mountains. One of the main obstacles they had when they were building this tunnel was that hardness of that rock. Like I sort of mentioned earlier on, the rock has changed sin or since we entered the park to what it is up here. Up here it's now part of those Southern Alp rocks and it's a very solid granite. Matter of fact, I actually believe it's one of the hardest granites on Earth. And they believe some of that rock up here is as old as 3 million years old.